Hi there! Elastic Robot Orchestration offers an easy way for automation cloud orchestrator customers to provision, scale and optimize unattended robots in their own public clouds. It's designed to lower cloud costs through more efficient use of virtual machines by only provisioning and starting robots when there is work for them to do and stopping them when there isn't. Elastic Robot Orchestration is also designed to automate more of the maintenance overhead associated with running robots by keeping robots in those VMs up to date. There are a few things that you need to do before your robots become autonomous. For the purpose of this video, we'll be showing you how to do that using Microsoft Azure, but you can also use Google Cloud and Amazon Web Services. First, in Azure, copy the ID of the subscription that you'll be working on. Under the selected subscription, create a resource group to fit your needs. Register a new application and copy both its application and directory IDs. Navigate to Certificates and Secrets. Create a new secret and copy its value for later use. Then, under the previously created resource group, navigate to Access Control and assign the owner role for your new app registration. If your cloud computing subscription is managed by your organization, reach out to your IT team to get all of these prerequisites ready. Next, we need to create a new virtual machine. Fill in its details, but make sure that you choose Windows 10 Pro or Windows Server as operating system. Also, ensure that the remote desktop protocol inbound port is allowed. Confirm your changes and create the VM. Connect to it via the RDP file and when asked for authentication, use the admin credentials that you filled in when creating the VM. After going through the first boot process, check if Windows needs to be updated on your new VM. Reboot if necessary. Next, create a new Windows user. Make sure that the password does not need to be changed at logon and that it will never expire. Add this user to the administrators and remote desktop users groups. In case your automations rely on other software, log out from the main account and then log in as the newly created user to install it. There's no need to install UiPath Robot because Automation Cloud will take care of that for you. Once you're done installing, switch back to the main account. Bring up a command prompt window and change the directory to system32 sysprep. Execute sysprep.exe, check the generalize box and choose shutdown under shutdown options. This may take up to five minutes and it will disconnect you from your session halfway through. In the Azure portal, look for the VM status. Once it's stopped, you can click Capture to create a managed image of it under the same resource group. Confirm your changes and create the image. Now, in your UiPath Automation Cloud account, open the desired orchestrator service and under Tenant Level, navigate to Settings, Cloud, Connections. Add a new Azure subscription and fill in the required fields with the previously saved values from the Azure portal. Under Machines, add a new Elastic Robot Pool, name it and choose its details. Then, under Folders, navigate to any modern folder and edit the user that you want to be able to run on the cloud machines. Enable the automatic creation of an unattended robot for them and input their Windows user and password that you created before creating the VM image. Last but not least, navigate to the modern folder and under Machines, add the Elastic Robot Pool. Finally, you can give it a try and run a process on your fresh cloud robots. 
it might take up to 10 minutes before the process initiates as a VM needs to be created from the image previously saved in Azure. But once the machine is deployed, the process will run in no time. Imagine what you could accomplish with an army of robots at your fingertips. Thanks for watching.